and just let it pile up a little while. And we should be able to unlock that without too much difficulty. Look at all these trucks using the train station right here. Amazing. Look at all these trucks. Alright, we'll turn all of these off. So the garbage should pile up. Uh, here we have all tax rates at most 4%. Didn't we kill the tax rate at some point? Alright, let me... Uh, 4. So it was 9. I'm going to reduce it to 4. I don't know how long we have to maintain this for. Alright, 4% tax rate. Enjoy. 0 out of 20. Do we have to um, maintain this for like 20 weeks? I guess we do. Uh, weekly education expense is 20,000. That, that's easy enough. Office. Okay, we need to build more offices. We have built a lot of factories. So once we, once we achieve this one, then we stop building industry and we build build um, offices to get the other one. Crime rate over fifty percent. Let's let's not do. Okay, construction airport. That's easy enough. Commercial zone. That's that's. We'll do that eventually. Seven instances. We can just put that down really easily. Uh, a thousand abandoned buildings in the city. We could probably do that. Employment over. I don't know how to do this. Employment over fifty percent. Not sure how to do that. Uh, a lot of this stuff are actually positive. City debt twenty two thousand. We can do that. Wow, we're losing money. Construct all city service buildings. Cargo harbor. Oh, we need this at some point. Okay, so let's not do too many negative achievements simultaneously. So the one we're doing right now is pile up the garbage. So once we hit 25, we stop that. And the tax rates, I guess we have to keep this going for like um, 20 weeks, is that right? I'm not sure if we can survive that long. Alright, let's speed this up. Twenty weeks. Garbage piling up. We're up to thirteen. I don't know if we need to maintain this as well for a certain length of time. Let me check my cemeteries. Cemetery has no. What are you doing? Don't, don't. No, don't. I don't want to put this down. Uh, it has zero people in it. Yeah, no, the, the crematoriums are still burning all the, all the dead bodies. Oh, there's 10 people there. There's zero people there, so there's 10... <laughs> I've got 10 out of 9,000. So that's gonna take absolutely forever to do. What are these... Oh, the garbage piling up. Good. <laughs> well, I mean bad, but, you know, good. Garbage piling up, up to 16. 3 out of 20, but we're halfway though. Why does it say 3 out of 20, but the bar is halfway full? Alright, we're bleeding money. This might be a, a bad idea. 18... I can always just turn off a bunch of services, given that we've cut the taxes so much. Uh, 20... You know what I might do? Just in case we don't make it. Let me just... Ooh, wait, not, not the power. Not the power. My bad. That was a mistake. Not the power, not the water. We're gonna turn down the garbage, turn down the uh, everything else. Just so that we don't hemorrhage quite as much money 
while we do this negative achievement. Hall of, Mall of Moderation, garbage piling up, we're up to 24. 25, alright, we unlock that one. Pause, we're going to turn all of these back on in case we forget. Also, we're not losing money anymore because we've reduced the services substantially. Man, these are negative achievements. Why? I mean, okay, I get it. They are actually kind of fun to do. Like, they're kind of challenging. And they, they you know, basically you're, you're killing your city as a, as a challenge. And it's like the opposite of what you usually do. Because usually you just keep the city running perfectly. But then the, the game gives you a reason to deliberately try something else out. And that's kind of interesting on an intellectual level. But I mean, you the, the cost of it is that you destroy your city, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Alright, so we sent out all everything, all the garbage trucks again. Although, because it's only running at half capacity, the garbage is still going to continue to pile up. Fire safety is pretty low. Ah, uh, yes, I know. I, I know garbage is piling up. I just need to um, maintain for 20 weeks to get the posh more, bro. Can you like, let me do this? Construct airport courthouse. Wait, what is this? Crime rate over 50. Well, we're gonna let the re city recover before trying this one. Because that's kind of insane. <laughs> Crime rate over 50%. I guess once we fire, like, once, once we turn off all the, um, turn off all the police buildings, that will kick in. Commercial, seven universities. Abandoned buildings, some of these are terrifying. Unemployment over 50%. Some of these are absolutely terrifying. Oh, game's lagging again. I guess after a while the game doesn't um, keep up with the calculations if you run it at full speed. I don't think it's a... It's a graphics issue, I think it's literally a simulation issue. Although it helps if you don't stare at traffic. Like it helps the frame rate if you're not looking at the traffic. There's apparently a lot of demand for industry, although that's not reliable because we're killing our city by messing things up deliberately. Alright, eight more weeks. Eight more weeks, we're gonna lose like um, 64,000 more, more dollars. But we're not gonna go bankrupt doing this. Absolutely terrifying. 13 out of 20... Are we losing people? We are losing people. Wow, we're losing... We're losing several thousand people per week. Oh, do we have a health crisis going on? What is the crisis? Uh, well, I mean, there's, there's a crisis, obviously. <laughs> I don't know what exactly is the crisis. Probably, like, multiple crises simultaneously, given that we've reduced the funding for everything. Oh crap, we are hemorrhaging money like you wouldn't believe right now. I'm not sure if we're gonna make it. We might not make it. We need to maintain it for five more weeks. And we're hemorrhaging money like you wouldn't believe. This is more difficult than I expected. This is more difficult than I expected. We are hemorrhaging money like crazy. Let's kill the power and water as well. <laughs> oh wow, we completely destroyed our city. I'm not sure if we can recover from this. Look at our population. We're down to 17,000. We might not recover from this. Uh, 
All right, three more weeks. And we're going into the red. Our city is down to 10,000 people. This is insane. I can't believe how badly we're doing. Ah. Uh, huh. The city is on the brink of bankruptcy. Accept. So we... We couldn't actually do this. We only need two more weeks of craziness. We need one more, seven more days of craziness. I'm. Can you actually lose the game? Can you actually lose the game? All right, we've unlocked the posh more. <laughs> That was a really bad idea. Alright, 9%. 9%. I, I don't know if the city will recover from this. I mean, I've been pretty impressed by the simulation so far. The last time we killed the city by turning off all the... Uh, or like feeding everybody poop water was pretty terrifying. But the city recovered completely. I don't actually know if it can recover from this. It just seems like too much craziness. Alright, turning back everything back up to a hundred. We did save the game before we did this, right? <laughs> Loans, let's take out a bunch of loans. Let's take out all the loans. And then let's see if we can recover from this. We're down to 6,000 people in the city. The city has 6,000 people and we are hemorrhaging money like you wouldn't believe. I think we're going to go bankrupt again immediately. Uh, we need to recover like several thousand people per week, basically. Nope. Well, we are losing money. The city doesn't grow anywhere near as fast as it, it dies. <laughs> um, interesting. Interesting. I mean, the city is growing. Just uh, not very fast. What does it look like right now? Dead. Completely dead. Interesting how tax cuts can kill your city, right? Right, libertarians? Tax cuts killed our city. Interesting, isn't it? How that works. So, um, we're negative $400,000 and we almost have 7,000 people in our city. Although, you know, it's interesting to see like how once people move out of your city, I mean, how do you recover? Because you have so many services that you can't pay for anymore. And, and there's no services, therefore why would people move in? You know, why would people move into your city if there's no services? But there's no people, therefore you can't pay for services, therefore nobody wants to move in. <laughs> oh man. This is terrible. Let me just look at the population graph. Yes. That really happened, guys. That really happened just now. I think we can actually recover, eventually. Because the game doesn't seem to mind you being in the negative. There doesn't seem to be a lose condition, is what I'm trying to say. Like, 
you can be bankrupt but you don't lose the game. Okay, our city really needs to grow much much faster, please. We we'll move back to almost 8,000, but we need to be at 40,000 at least. Preferably 50,000. I don't know if the growth will accelerate. It's growing at like about 200 people a week. Doesn't like there seems to be a cap on the growth rate. Probably not a hard cap. Probably just the the, the interactions between the different you know numbers. But you know we, we were losing thousands of people a week. But we're only growing at hundreds, so that's kind of interesting to, to think about. It's gonna take forever for us to get back from this debt, like we're 1.3 million dollars in debt right now. I mean, we're almost back to 9,000 people, but that's still a long way off. I should probably not have taken those loans. Those loans did not really help. I don't know if I should raise taxes. Maybe I should. I don't know if it will help. I don't think it will help, but maybe I should. Would I would the would the people would the city grow faster if I lower taxes? Let me try this. Let me lower this to like five. The city is growing at about three hundred people a week now. What if I lower this to two? Ah, oh, that doesn't seem to make any difference. Doesn't seem to make any difference. No. No, it's not the taxes. It's not the taxes that's holding people back from moving in. All right, we're back to ten thousand. <laughs> back to ten thousand population. We're still losing a hundred thousand dollars a week. Amazing! Like this is incredible. Look at how incredibly bad this is. And it's interesting that people move back in here first. The game tells me I should demolish the abandoned buildings. Does it cost money to demolish? I think it does, right? Alright, well I'm just gonna let the, the simulation run. Because, I mean, we're growing, the city is growing, it's just, um... Also, is it growing faster? It is growing faster. It seems to be picking up pace. I think. I'm not sure. But uh, I think we can conclude that tax cuts are actually not good for your city. <laughs> like, you know, cutting, cutting taxes and cutting services is not a good idea. Ah, this junction is going to be a problem, isn't it? Because everybody's using this one instead of this one. I might have to change this. I mean, it's not a problem yet, it might become a problem, although there are other junctions, so I guess it's only the people who live right here who use this junction. Hopefully it's not going to be a problem, hopefully um, people are going to be smart enough to go to other places. There's still a lot of traffic, interestingly enough. Alright, up to 12,000 people in the city. 
we're still losing about $90,000 a week. Is it really only growing here? Like, where is the city growing from? Are these buildings occupied? Not really. Amazing. Although it is picking up speed. The city growth is picking up speed. Look, we're up to plus 400 people a week now. So I guess the bigger the city, the faster it can grow. So uh, I guess we just let it run. Back to... 13,000. Alright, so this is not going to be interesting. I'm going to stop recording here. Because we're just going to sit here basically and wait for the people to move back in and then wait for our, our budget to go back into the black. So this is literally just going to be me sitting here and not doing anything while the game runs. So I'm not going to record all of this. I'm going to stop recording here. When we come back, uh, we should have a recovered city. That is if the city actually recovers. If the city does not recover, I'll have to load the previous save game. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, success, I guess. We unlocked a few achievements.